Hi, everybody. I'm Robert LaRocca. You know me. Today, we're going to begin the arduous climb to the heights of creating our very own performances on the Korg wave state. In my opinion, this process is too complex to address in one video, so we're going one day at a time. This means there will be a lot of videos, so please give me a thumbs up if you find this to be helpful, and subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos, so there will be a lot of them coming up. If you want to skip directly to the demo, click the first link in the video timeline. I've noticed that I'm getting more subscribers since I started doing the Korg Wave State instructionals, so I'm just going to stay focused on that for a while. If you want to see me talk about other stuff, you can check out my Rob High Five channel. I'll put a link to that in the description. In this video, we're going to learn how to change the name of a performance, which will effectively create a new performance. So we're going to start out by creating a template from which we can work. And we're going to do that by copying the init performance and then renaming it. Now this is how we get the new performance template that we can start to modify to make it whatever we want it to be. So we just twirl the volume knob and you'll see that there are several init performances. There's three. And two of them are ones that I created because I'm going to make a whole bunch of performances. And um, here's how you do that. So in order to create a duplicate performance, you just, on the right button, just click the right. And you'll see that it says at the bottom, it says shift right to save a new one. So you just press shift and then right, shift, right. Saved as new performance. Press enter to confirm or any other key. Performance saved. Now, when we go to the top, you'll see that there are now four init performances. So we just created a new one. And all we're going to do now is just change the name of that. And that will be the beginning of creating our template, our new performance. And we're going to change it to a tutorial. So we'll go ahead and click right here, which will take us to the option to change the name of this performance. So you can also change the type. Um, we're going to use performance. So we'll just enter on the name. And you'll see that it's uh, performance name. This is what we're going to change. So if you see at the bottom, it says in order to delete, you just page minus. So we're just going to arrow with the right key all the way over to the right. You can see the underline move. See now we're all the way to the right of the E. And we just hit, we're going to hit shift and minus, and then we'll just erase everything there. There. Okay. And now we're just going to select the letters we want. So we'll just uh, shift. And then we'll have a space. And then we're going to have a T. And then we'll just write it. Shift right to create new. Now, if you don't want to create a brand new one and then you'd have four in it performances, you just shift right. And that's saved the name as a tutorial. So that's pretty simple. You can also use the option to, if you don't want to scroll through, do all that scrolling to the lowercase, if you want to use it. You can just uh, shift to switch between character sets. So if we wanted to make it A, it's fine. Give it a space there, and then we'll go to um, uh, lowercase. If we want to do that, we just go to shift, and it, it takes you right to the lowercase. So you can, you can do that. That's a lot faster than let's say, if we want to 
go back to uppercase and then you just go to you you know do the lowercase the next one shift takes you to right it's a lot faster than scrolling and let's say you don't want to write you don't want to write the name uh, shift enter and it'll cancel it takes you right back see the name wasn't lost and then it's still there all four.